morning, good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, the good and wonderful people of the tube. Hope you're all today, hope you're feeling grand, and all's been world hard already. Uh, welcome to another video, everybody, in the How to Play Blues Guitar series. Uh, it's been a long time coming, I know, but we're here now. So today, we're going to talk, well, we're not going to talk about slide guitar, but I am going to teach you that bit that I did in the intro today. Only the first 12 bars, because there's a lot to be going on with in that first 12 bars. Um, I'm not going to go over the fundamentals of slide or this, that and the other. I already have a video on that. So I'm not going to go over that one. And what I'm going to do, people of YouTube, is I'm going to put the other videos to my other blues guitar videos in the description box below. And also I'm going to make a playlist with them in as well. So the playlist will have all the how to play blues guitar lessons up to now. And it will also have these other lessons I've done um, three and two years ago. Uh, one of those is kind of like how I learned to play slide and basically the fundamentals of how to play slide. I've dropped my plectrum. Um, you know, where where the slide needs to be, talking about, like, you know, tunings and just things on, on the other. Uh, the other. The other two are kind of like more Delta Blues kind of blues lessons. So there's one that's kind of like... Well, they're both in the kind of the vein of Robert Johnson. So anyway, if you want to check them out, links to them in the description box, as well as, like I say, it's going to all be in a playlist from now on. So it's just easier to find. So, uh, like I say, today we're going to learn what I played in the intro. Um, so, to do this style, uh, to, 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 sorry, to do this, uh, this this kind of little blues jam, I've had this riff for ages, and it's always something I'm just kind of messing around with. It's never really made its way into a song, so I thought it would be a nice thing to kind of teach. So, for this, we're going to be hybrid picking, or just finger style, because we need to constantly keep bass notes going. So if you could hear in that intro, um, you know, the, the A string, which is, I've got the guitar in open G, I'll talk a bit more about that in a sec, is constantly doing a bass note. So when I'm doing the... You can hear that A note, it's constantly dun, 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 dun. It's never, I, I, I can't keep it going perfectly, dun, 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 dun. I'm still working on that. But as long as it's still there backing up the main thing, that's what we want to be aiming for. Because that's what these guys like Robert Johnson, um, you know, Charlie Patton, you know, Sunhouse, people like that, they could do that. They constantly kept the bass going while playing lead lines over the top and rhythm as well. So, yeah, it's all in one. So, um, so yeah, so like I say, before we get into it too far, like I say, uh, if you don't really know much about Slide, like I say, please check out the other videos before this one. Uh, this one's a bit more kind of moved on, so to say. Um, it's still fun to dive in and swim, though. If 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 you do, if you don't want to check those videos and you just kind of want to learn what I'm I'm doing today, go for it. I would always recommend that. It's always good fun to throw yourself in the deep end, having a gam. So, uh, for this little thing, we're in open G tuning. Okay, so basically what that is is we tune down the low E string to D, and we're not going to use this string at all. This is basically like you know the most useless string in open G. It's why I keep people like Keith Richards. When they play an open G, don't even have a low E string, and they just have a five string. So low E string down to D, and then we have our A string down tuned to G. And then D is normal, G is normal, B is normal, and our high E is down tuned to D as well. So it's D, G, D, G, B. So basically, when you play from the A string down, it's just a G major chord. Okay, so that, that's what that's the tuning we're in today. Uh, we, like I say, the low E string, we will not be using it at all. Uh, so it's just basically there, just because, at this point in time. So, um, and like I say, we're going to be doing it hybrid picking. Hybrid picking is where you have a plectrum like that in those two fingers, and you use your middle finger or your ring finger on your right hand or left hand depending on which hand you are to put the strings so for that intro bit i'll move the camera in a sec but i just kind of want to explain this in a sec uh, as as best i can so for that intro bit where it's that thing what's going on there is the plectrum in these two fingers is hit constantly on the a and I've got that palm muted as well. So the A string's constantly palm muted, which is a very common thing in blues music, is uh, especially this kind of style, is when you're playing kind of like like that, you want your low strings to be palm muted. The rip that you know the main kind of bass strings to be palm muted, and then the high strings to be open. You know, so it gives you that kind of juxtaposition of bass and lead. Um, 
So like I say, my the hybrid picking what I'm doing here is I'm playing the A string with a plectrum. Again, palm muted. Like that. And my hand is not touching the B. Uh, sorry, the high E, which is tuned to D in this case, the B or the G string. So they can ring out. See what I mean? So constantly that bass is just basically acting like a thump. It's it acting like a bass, you know, it's, it's keeping it all in context. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And again, you can do it without a pick. You can do it with your fingers. So I would use... Without a plectrum, I kind of can't use this finger very well, so I end up using my middle finger. So I'd use my thumb and middle finger if I don't use a plectrum. So it'd be like that. Okay, or with a pick, it'd be like that. And if you can't get quite round to just doing those things, just do that. No, with a pick. Okay, so hybrid picking or using your fingers or simplify it, kind of like, you know, forget the kind of a bass, I'd say. So anyway, people choose, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna move the camera in a lot closer and we'll go for it. So again, let's just recap before we go that far. So this is an open G, so again, D, G, D, G, B, uh, D, open G tuning, was that right? D, G, D, G, B, D, yep. I'll make sure I get that, say that right. So open G tuning. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm using this. These are my favorite slides. I think I, I forget what they are, but they're, they're the, the glass ones. But it doesn't really matter. Glass, uh, steel, brass, copper, whatever you want to use, you know, Zippo lighter. Uh, all's well. So, um, so yeah, that, that, that's it. So, um, open G. We're going to be mainly sticking, again, this is just in G. We're going to mainly be sticking to the 12th fret, uh, 5th fret, and 7th fret. That's kind of our main thing. But we are going to be doing some other bits and pieces, uh, little ornaments, if you will. Um, yeah, and as for sound, I mean, you, you don't want it kind of like too clean. You want it a little bit overdriven. You don't want it to be kind of like this. You know, it wants to have a little bit of grit. You know, so, it, so it's a bit more aggressive. It attacks a bit better and, you know, it, it gives you that thing. Uh, another thing, actually, quickly, people too, before we go on. Uh, actually, I'll tell you what, I'll move the camera in first and I'll mention this. So uh, let's get the camera in closer to the guitar. Okay, okay, people with a tube. So let's let's get into this. So first things first, this is something to note when playing slide. You don't always have to do that. This, sorry, but uh, it does help keeping it clean. So when you're playing slide, you always want one or three or two fingers on this side of the slide, muting the strings on the other side. Okay, so without without uh, these fingers muting the strings on this other side, you're like, hang on a minute, muting. What do you mean? Um, basically. You get a lot of extraneous noise if these fingers don't touch the string. So if I play the riff we're going to learn today without putting my fingers on the, the G, B, and E strings on the other side of the slide, this is what it sounds like. Hang on a minute. It's quite noisy. So if I now bring my first finger down to mute behind the slide over here, it'll clean it up. In comparison to... You know, you can hear the difference. Uh, in, in all fairness, both are totally valid. Both sound really, really cool. It's not really an issue, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I would say this is very more... It's very more rough and ready. This is a lot more refined. So do whatever you want there. If you want to mute, then you can. If you don't, don't. I, I quite like muting, especially when doing kind of like lines like this. Because I like how cleaner it sounds. You can kind of hear the notes. But again, it's blues. Play it how you feel it. So uh, anyway, um, so yeah, so just to let you know, people, that's, that's, a, that's, that's always a thing to look out for. And again, I do cover this in uh, another video I did uh, about three years ago talking about how to play, how I learned to play slide and, and how to kind of play slide and just some pointers here and there. And I say, video for that is in the description box below. So anyway, people tune. Let's get to it. So the first part we're going to learn today is this. Ooh. 
Okay, so basically what we're doing there is we're droning the A string, which is a G note, because we're down tuned, and our slide sits on the fret line. This line here, we don't go inside the fret, we're on the other side of it. So our 12th fret is that fret there. So on that side of the double dots. So the back side of the, uh, of the dot. So that's our 12th fret. That's our 7th fret. That's our 5th fret. 3rd and 2nd. We're not in between and we're not forward of that, if that makes any sense. So we want to be... I want to have a slide right over that 12th fret, like that. Okay, so like literally right over it. And that's the rhythm. Dun, 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 dun. So again, really slow. Okay. Okay, and then what we do then is we move the slide down one fret. So now we're over the 11th fret. So exactly the same pattern. So. Dun, 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 dun. And then to finish this off, what we do is we hit, go back to the 12th fret on, oh, and by the way, we're just playing the B and high E strings here and the A string. The D and the G are not played. So we go, and then to finish this thing up, we go back to the 12th fret and we just hit the high E, the B and the A once. And then just slide down. Okay. So that intro so far is this. Okay. Again, like I say, the A string is always palm muted. Your bass strings are always palm muted in this style. It just gives it a bit more thump and percussive uh, oomph to the, to the actual piece you're playing. So the next part we're going to do is that traditional blues rundown. Okay, which is we're going to play the third fret on the D string, and then we're going to play the G string, and then B string, and then the D string, uh, uh, then we go down to the second fret D string. Same pattern. And then just, and then I'll just a D on its own. So, so far, we're, we're here. And then when we get to that thing, we're just gonna hit all those strings together. Like, just ring them out. Okay, and then we're gonna do this with our slide. So it, I'm, I'm just gonna do uh, that again because I messed up and I, I do apologize about that. But again, if I mess up at some point or you can see me doing something I don't mention, hopefully you'll be able to see it and uh, correct it. So, uh, so here we go again. That's where we are so far. So the next bit huh, is what we're doing here is we're taking, we're going to the third fret again, which is this line here. We're on that fret there, backside of the dot, always on the backside and always over the fret with the slide. You never play in the fret really with the slide unless you're pressing down. But I don't really like to do that. I don't like the sound it gives. So if you're just resting your hand and getting the right pressure to get to get the notes, you want to be all over that fret line and basically with just the right amount of pressure on the side. You don't want to be pressing down the strings. Don't ever press down the strings. You just want to be floating on top uh, with just the right amount of pressure. It takes time. To, yeah, it can be frustrating, but it's cool. Okay, so this next bit is we're going to slide from the second. Uh, is that... No. So we're going to slide from the third and we're going to play our A, D, G and B strings. Slide out of the second and then pull off the slide. So third, slide out of the second and pull off and just let the strings ring. And then we're going to slide from the second to the seventh fret. So. So. Okay. So that's where we are now. So, so far, the whole thing is this. Okay, 
So that's that. that. That's basically the intro so far. And now we're going to get into kind of like the main uh, riff of the song. The, uh... And this is where it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get fiddly and a bit bit difficult. So um, to, before we get to the high part, we're going to slide again from the third to the second and off. And then we're going to slide up, okay? So after the... Uh... going to slide down it's, it's almost inaudible the second the second fret you know but it, it is there it's, it's kind of there and this basically just sets up the kind of like the riff so again after okay so it's just a slide third second off and then we get to the main melody so again we're going to be constantly droning the a string palm muted a string and we're going to slide up from anywhere. It doesn't really matter where you slide up as long as you end up on the 12th fret. So again, 12th fret being there. Not uh, not in front, just behind the dots. So, so that's what we want. So you got the G, uh, well, you got the, the G note, the A string, and the high E. So. Okay. And the melody is... Uh... So that's the melody. That's what we're going to learn. But we need to play that while keeping the bass going. And this is where it gets difficult. So, 12th fret. So, dun, 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 on that 12th fret note. Then we go down to the 10th fret on the high E. And then we go up to the B string on the 10th fret. And we slide it up immediately. Uh, it's basically, we're heading towards the 12th fret, but we never make it. Because before we get to the 12th fret on the B string, we want to play the 12th fret on the G string. So... So you can still hear the B string ring out once you get to that note, so you get that. But it's kind of almost like a sympathetic kind of note, it, it, you know, and it doesn't necessarily have to ring out. But like I say, you'd slide down to the 12th fret on the on a, on a high E. Dun, dun, dun. And then 10th fret high E. Then you go to the 10th fret B, slide up to the 12th. Just about make it and then hit your G on the 12th fret. Okay? So that's the first melody we want to be playing. So... Okay, so that's the first part. And again, with the bass note, that sounds like this. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time because that was terrible. Okay, and again, the bass can be kind of erratic. I'm not, I'm not very good at keeping the bass going. Uh, I know there's, there's a million better players that can do that than I can. But this is what we're kind of after. We want that constantly. <laughs> You know, you, you want that kind of thing. Anyway, so that's the first melody. Okay, so. Okay. And then the next melody is. So it's basically the exact same thing, but this time we do make it to the 12th fret on the B string. So we're starting off on the high E string again, a 12th fret. 10th fret, uh, high E. B string, 10th. And then we slide it up to a 12th fret on the B to finish this one. We don't go to the G string this time. So the first one is... Okay. So with the bass, uh, it does this. Okay, so that's where we are so far. So I'm going to play the whole thing from the intro really slow and uh, hopefully play it right. Okay, so here we go. Ah. Ah, 
muting was terrible. There we go. Got it in the end. Anyway, that's that's where we are so far, Poopertube. So the next time around, we go back to the first melody. The... Okay. So this is the whole... So the whole melody so far goes... Okay. So again, that's three times. On the fourth time, we go to the 15th fret. On the on the high E, twelfth fret high E, tenth fret high, and then we go to the tenth fret on the B, and then we do basically that same thing again of sliding up on the B string, not quite making it and going to the G string on the twelfth fret. Okay, so the whole melody part is like this. So again, with the bass note, sounds like this. And again, we don't want to slide to that 15th fret. I didn't mention that the first time around, but we don't want to be sliding to this 15th fret. We just want to hit it. Kind of a bit more staccato -y on the fit on the 15th fret high, 12th fret high, and 10th fret high. So it's a bit more, bit more, bit more jagged. But again, you don't have to actually. I mean, again, it's blues. You can play it however you want. If you want, to do it like that. You can. If it's a bit more kind of, bit more flamboyant, you can. If you want to do it like that, you can. But again. It's totally up to you, people of the tube. Do what you feel. Really important, really important. So, the whole thing so far, if I can play it right, is this. I'll get it right. Hang on a minute. So that's where we are so far, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do is very simple. This is kind of gives us a bit of a, a, a break, if you will. It kind of gives us a bit of a breather. We're gonna do the slide from the third fret to the second and open again. But then what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide it to the fifth fret. And this is gonna give us our four chord. So at this point in time, we're on the one chord of the one, four, five, of the 12 bar. So uh, after this. <laughs> We're gonna do this. Okay, so let me let me try and do that better than I just did. That's what we're after next. So it's a slide again from the third fret, second fret, open, and then sliding from the second fret to the fifth fret. And this is gonna give us our next chord. Okay, and then to get out of the four chord and back to the one chord. Uh, we're going to do the same thing again. Okay, so the whole thing from the high, the 15th fret high E. That's where we are so far. So, uh, if that makes any sense. So, I'm going to do the whole thing again, uh, as slow as I can. What keeps getting me, people too, is I keep hitting the, 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 the pickup with my nail and it's kind of like just making me stumble. Anyway. Uh, it's enough of your excuses, Dave. Get on with it. So, whole thing as slow as I can. I do apologise, people, too, but I actually got that bit wrong. Coming into the four chord, it's... So it's a slide from the second 
to the third and then sliding back down to the second and then open. I do apologise. It's not third, second, open. It's second, third, second, open, and then and then to the fifth. So, uh, again, people, if, if I do make a mistake, please, hopefully, hopefully you can kind of see to correct yourself. Please do correct yourself because I'm a bit stupid and an idiot and I always tend to go wrong when I do teaching videos because I get all worked up about getting it totally right and i never do anyway so that's where we are so far so we've got back to our one chord and for this bit what we're going to do is we're going to go to the go back to the melody part so we're going to do this so basically that first part of the melody it, it doesn't turn around though so it's just basically okay so that's where we are so far, and, that, and that's and that's you know that's where um, that bit kind of goes. And then we're going to go to our five chord. So to get to our five chord, it's going to do the exact same thing as we did to get to our four chord. So okay, so to uh, second fret, slide up to the third fret, back to the second fret, off, and then we're going to slide up to the seventh fret. Uh, and when we're doing these chords, we we're playing the A, D, G, and B strings. You can play the high E if you want. I don't really like it. And again, avoid the low E at all costs. Like I say, a lot of people tend to take this off because it is kind of like the um, the non-string, if you will, in open G. So to get to that um, bit, so we're coming to the five chord, a uh, four chord. That's how we're doing it. And again, I do apologize for my atrocious playing. Um, it's one of those days with YouTube. I just can't play guitar very well today. Okay, so, uh, but hopefully this is all making sense. Again, as usual, I'm terrified this is all garbage and doesn't make any sense. Anyway, hope it does. So the whole thing, well, actually, I'll tell you what, let's continue actually to the end and then I'll play the whole thing around because we're, we're pretty much there now. So it's the five chord and then we slide down to the fifth fret. And then we do that slide again from a... So two, three, two, off. And then we do the run down. Okay. So, and that's basically where we're going to stop today. Because there's a lot to be going on here. Again, if you've never done hybrid picking or finger picking like this, and especially keeping bass notes going, that's enough for now. And I don't want to get too far ahead in this just yet. This is the first kind of... It's not the well. It's kind of the first video in this series of this, and I just kind of want to keep it kind of as, as simple as possible, really. So, so the whole thing, people, tube is this. So let me try and do it really, really slow. Because it sounds a bit runs off. And then when you hit that one, you hit want to hit the A, D, G, B, and high E strings. It sounds cool. Uh, but that's it. That's where we're going to stay, Booba Chew. So I'm going to do it one more time, really slow. But again, you can play this at any speed, but I would recommend playing it slow to start with because there's quite a lot going on. So, um, so yeah, so let's do it again.
strum on this side of the neck. <laughs> anyway, Buju, that's where I'm going to leave this lesson for now. Because there's quite a lot to be going on in there. Again, it's quite... As with a lot of blues stuff of this style, it seems quite simple. And then you actually get into it and it's actually really fiddly. Because when you're doing this, when, you, when you're doing this, the high, the high melody... You can't have your slide hit that A string. So you've really got to position your slide just right. Because if you hit your A string... It just kills it and, it, and it, it's going to end up doing this. Instead of actually just being dum da dum da dum So you, it's a lot to be going on with here to get the slide and... You know, to, to do all that is really cool. I mean, you get your respite when you go to the A, uh, sorry, the four chord and the five chord. But um, it, it, it's, there's a lot to be going on here. So hopefully this has made some kind of sense. So uh, like I say, you can play this at any speed. You can play it faster. But I would recommend you start out slow because that just takes a bit getting uh, like, yeah, working up to. But hopefully this made some kind of sense with YouTube. Like I say, uh, I did. I've been meaning to get around to doing this lesson for a long time. Just haven't had the time to do it, and also haven't had really the kind of um, the right mindset to do it. And it, it, it's quite involved teaching because I always kind of like it causes problems in my head. But anyway, um, but hopefully this made some kind of sense. I hope uh, there's enough there to be kind of going on with. I hope you enjoyed this. And like I say, Open G is a great slide tuning. It really is. And by the way, people, um, I'm not going to demo this guitar, but this is my other audition guitar, which you saw. If you saw my guitar collection, this is this is it. And it sounds absolutely amazing, as you can hear. It just, it's got that real... <laughs> a great slide tone it's got a real delta bluesy kind of vibe to it it's amazing well i say delta blues kind of electric blues um you know very classic kind of blues tone it's great uh another thing to note people too before we go i'm going to show you something really quick so the notes in this melody that thing uh that is a pattern that pattern there you can use over um any kind of chords that shifts around so uh, how to explain this really well. I've, I've been struggling to try to figure out how to explain this. But basically, because we are, we're in open tuning, so that's G major chord. So this is a G major as well. Uh, this pattern... So uh, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12 on uh, uh, high E, B, and then G. Uh, now, if I move that bar, say this is our G, so we've got th this note, that note, that note, that note, and this note here... Um, if we move that to our four chord here, uh, which would be a C, this pattern now goes. Uh, it'll now work over the C. So over G. Now, if I go to the C. Okay. So this. That pattern will work over the C and the D. So you can do this. Okay, so that pattern, those, those four notes. Well, technically there's five, because you can do this one. Those ones there. Six, sorry, I can't even count. Yeah! It's no wonder people never want me to count in songs. Anyway, those six notes, they'll always work depending on where your bar is. So if you think constantly that that's your kind of like, you know, your 12th fret or your nut, 
So let's say, wherever you are, on the other side of your finger, those notes will work. So that one will work, that one will work, that one will work, and obviously your bar will work. So, in a bit. And again, same thing there. Okay, so that's just another little thing I wanted to throw in there, people. If you wanted to get a bit kind of uh, improvisy with where where we're going with this, so you can kind of do that thing again, where you kind of go. So I just wanted to kind of like throw that air bed in the end. As like I say, it's just it's basically a scale. I have no idea what it'd be, but it moves uh, depending on which bar you're playing. And again, always see your finger is kind of like the nut. So if that's open strings, you know that's your nut there. That'll work. That'll work over the four chord. That'll work over the five chord. Uh, you can't play this really over the the C, over the over the G. You kind of can, but it's not really nice. You know, it sounds a bit naff. It kind of really moves for chords, and anyway, I, and I will get to teaching more things like this. But I'll get to that. Uh, in not not right now. But again. Uh, hopefully this video has made sense people too. I hope it's been informative uh, and I hope it's something that you can kind of like go away and enjoy and have fun with. And uh, yeah, it's good fun to learn with slide. It really is cool. And uh, again, this is, um, it's simple but not as simple as it appears if that makes any sense. It, it will take a bit of a, uh, a bit of time to, to figure it out. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video again, people too. Uh, again, if you like the videos I do on this channel, please consider becoming a patron at Patreon. Link to that is in the description box below. Uh, link to the videos that I mentioned earlier on in the video are in the description box below, as well as, as a playlist, hopefully now. Uh, if it's not up now, it will be soon. Uh, with all the videos that I've done on teaching blues guitar. So there's, there's like I say, there's another slide video I spoke about the slide fundamentals. And there's also a video on, uh, two videos on like Delta Blues, kind of Robert Johnson acoustic guitar playing um, I've done in the past. I did them about two years ago. So uh, so yeah, they're, they're in, they'll be in the playlist as well, as well as all the How to Play Blues Guitar videos. So uh, I might rename them ones actually as well to uh, How to Play Blues Guitar and uh, just uh, have them in there as well. Have them in the same series. Anyway, Bill Troop, hope you enjoyed the vid. Uh, and I'll see you again for another one. Hope you enjoyed uh, this vid. Hope it's been okay. And I'll see you again for another video. Have a great one. Have a great morning, afternoon, good evening, and goodbye now. I have a very sweaty little finger. Goodbye now. Thank you. <laughs>